Faraday future is absolutely refusing to die no matter how many funerals we hold for it. And they got some exciting news to share that I will share with you coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward and it's free. That never hurts. Okay, so Fair to Future. Uh, yeah, a long story. As you know, they, they, they came on the scene in 2017 at CES. Everybody really loved the car. It was kind of a big a Tesla killer at that time, everybody called it, but really competitor. Uh, and then they ran into some financial trouble. Um, their CEO, JY, got like literally blacklisted in China. He's, he ran into a lot of financial trouble, including some of the other companies that he owed. And basically, the company was just about to die until the um, Evergrande Group, uh, came in and and um, invested, committed to $2 billion investment. And I was like, wait, what's happening now? There were rumors that it was part of a bigger multi-billion dollar uh, um, investment into property, really. And this was kind of a condition that they had to invest into an electric car company. But again, just a rumor. And then once the company burned, so the company started once again, uh, building the factory, building the prototypes. It looked very good, but I guess once they burned through about six to $800 million, uh, the Evergrande wasn't happy how fast they spent the money and where they were at. Um, and then they cut them off. There was more drama and the court cases and all of that stuff. And after that, um, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, executives and uh, founders and a lot of talent just basically left. So that company was kind of dying once again. I call it, I, I still do believe that FF91, this car is just not going to make it uh, to the market ever. I'm still going to, you know, stick by that. But there is some exciting news here because there's like, they're getting yet another chance in the two interesting, really three different ways. So let me tell you all about it before that, a quick reminder that this video um, and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their upcoming all electric SUV scheduled to be here in the US and Europe next year at the end of next year, starting at only $45,000 over 300 mile range and absolutely zero dollars to make a reservation over 50,000 of those reservations have been made you should get yours if you haven't already go to byton.com or check out the link in the description of this video okay so um the the news is that they are now getting a, a bridge loan until they get the new round of financing now the bridge loan is um get uh, they're getting it from uh birch lake which is an investment firm and it's of 225 million dollars um, and it is to kind of uh, pay some money that owed to some of the suppliers, secure some of the uh, future supplier relationships and, 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 and spend some money here and there just basically until the uh, end of Q3 where they're supposed to get a really big investment once again. That time is from uh, this investment curl, uh, firm called uh, Stifle and uh, they are committed to investing one point one and a quarter billion dollars uh, in the company. Now, I'm a little, I gotta say, I'm really, I mean, good for them. I'm obviously rooting for, you know, any type of electric company and electric car coming to the market. Um, but who the hell is giving this company money at this point? Their CEO, who is still absolutely responsible guy, who's ran this company into the ground, JY, is still in power. I don't understand how that's not a condition to remove the biggest cancer in the company at this point, and they're still investing the money. How in the world the company that owes everybody has almost been on the edge of bankruptcy so many times, people still, you know, letting them borrow money, you know? I, but, but that's one thing. But the $1.25 billion, like, I mean, compare it to Byton, right? Like, for example, you know, they're sponsors of this channel. But so far, uh, their total, they've raised less than a billion dollars. And they already pretty much have a factory almost done. They have two models announced. One is in, uh, being tested in a production shape all over the world. Uh, offices in three different parts of the world. Uh, and, and the third one possibly being announced at some time later this year. Like, how is that they're able to do all of that and less uh, a billion dollars and Faraday Future is still uh, uh, nowhere near where they should be with over a billion dollars invested and someone else throwing another over a billion dollars at them? I don't quite get it. Now, there was some interesting thing. And by the way, let me show you uh, the new video that they're running right now. And I love, by the way, I love the way that car looks and that's the uh, uh, the, the latest one, the white one with the black uh, accents, the one that I have um, uh, as my, like right there, right? 
just I, I, I just never really was into this car. I just thought it looked all right, but my God, it looks absolutely beautiful and in, um, in that um, in that white with the black accents. It's just uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys like it. But I think it's the best I've ever looked, and now I can see. I, I would say it's like top three best looking SUVs. I mean, again, don't believe it's going to make it on the market, but it just looks amazing. Love it. Love it with those accents. But um, originally it did not look that way. It looked a little, it looked a little different still kind of, a, but, but see, see the difference. Um, this is their video from, um, from like two years ago when they just kind of launched it and I kept it because it's really one of the few uh, cool videos of this car. But as you can see, it looks definitely different. And yes, the, the coloring does matter, but it, 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 they've made some really, really cool improvements. And I like that. Okay. So, uh, there was another thing that happened that I kind of missed. I didn't even make a video about it, but uh, they got a $600 million investment from this company, the nine, the nine. Uh, and that was for something very particular. They basically have ordered and what they're going to get for it is 300,000 units of uh, the car that they're going to be called. They call it, they're going to call it V9. You know, like V8, like the tomato juice plus one, I guess, a V9. Um, and they're only going to, so it's going to be like a smaller and cheaper version of uh, FF91 here, but they're only going to make it for the Chinese market. Now, 300, uh, and by the end of 2021, I think, uh, like that's not going to happen. I mean, I know with with China, things happen very quickly, but, you know, 300,000 cars, that's something that Tesla's making right now. And, you know, they know a thing of two of making cars. And, and, and these guys are saying like this car is just going to just skyrocket in production numbers. I, I just don't I just don't see it happening. But they got six hundred million dollars to develop this car. And some of it will go for developing the FF81, which is going to be a cheaper version of FF91. They do have plans that far down, which I don't blame them. Of course, they want to be a brand that plans ahead. But nevertheless, um, I just don't think any of this is going to be happening because I just, I have trust that their CEO will find a way to screw it up. And don't forget, most of the talent has left. These companies are all about technology and all about the talent and they just don't have it. And I don't see anybody else out there with all of these choices to work for Tesla or Apple or Rivian or Byton and so many other amazing companies that actually get their stuff together and, and go and, and, and work for, for uh, uh, Fairday Future. And I don't even think Fairday Future can solve the problem by throwing really large sa uh, 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 salaries to those executives or to that talent just because they don't have the money. Um, so, but listen, at the same time, I really do hope that they get rid of the CEO, streamline their production, actually hire some talent despite how hard it is and, and come up for, with this car and not just for China, but all over the world. I mean, that's my hope, but I guess they say hope dies last, right? Don't forget to get on our uh, VIP list uh, where we uh, send out some exclusive stories that we don't even see on this channel or on our website uh, and some of the uh, exclusive deals for electric car related products. So don't forget to do that. It's uh, e4electric.com slash VIP. And I want to thank one of my newer patrons, Ronald Edwards. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. They're the only place where you can watch me live. Um, pretty much the first people who watch uh, these videos are my patrons and thank you for that. Thank you for supporting my show and contributing to my independent channel uh, to Ronald and everybody else. All right, let me know. Do you think this company will survive? Do you like the look of the SUV? If anything, uh, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, see you next time and remember to stay charged.